Okay, I had some technical difficulties with the last part of my video showing you the 3D warehouse or adding your custom elements. So we're going to go back to our uh, SketchUp program and I'm going to get in and get you guys the last little bit of it. So again, we go to sketchup.app at edu.sketchup.app to uh, sketchup.com forward slash app. And um, we are going to open from your Google Drive if it doesn't come up. So this will be where we go. And we look for our SketchUp folder. And there's this would be where I would also go to load my files. So this would be my this would be the file that you attach to turn in as as well. I'm going to load this up. So here's my pirate ship. So this is when we left off. We were looking at, uh, we needed to add our three elements to our pirate ship. Okay, so a couple of things that you could do, but stairs to come up in here. You could add another opening or a hole for it. Um, we could add, you, you have to add and do all the colors. Um, we could add, maybe there's a pirate ship wheel. There's all kinds of cool stuff. A slide coming down off the end. I'm going to start with, I'm going to put a flag in. This is what I'm going to do for mine. So we hit these three box for the components. We're going to search the 3D warehouse. I'm going to type flag in. And it's going to search. We got all kinds of different flags that we could do. I kind of like this little this, this Shrek flag. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to bring that flag in. All right. And so I'm going to put that on my end, on my point here. So now you can see that this flag is all way too big. So a couple of things that we have to do when we brought this flag in, we have to go to our under the move tab, we're going to go to scale. And when we go to scale, scale changes so we can change the size, drag one of these little boxes in. We're going to make this a flag much smaller. Okay, now we also need to go to when we're looking at this and we're, we're moving our stuff around uh, and we're orbiting our tool. So you can see this is the flag is nowhere near where it needs to be. Right, and so what we can do is we want to go to our move tool and this is going to allow us to move our object. And what we want to do is what we'd have to do is get and move our mouse around to get and see where everything is. So again, we want to scale this down like this much smaller. And then we go back to our move tool here and I can move my flag. All right. And so then, oh, I, I've got it here. So what you have to do is you want to keep orbiting to see, okay, so where am I at in relation to it? I got to zoom in to see where my flag is. Oh, I zoomed in too far. And I can see there's my flag is up there. Now this part is what's going to take you guys, oh, go to my orbit tool here take you guys a little bit of time. I'm going to pan, use my pan tool so I can get this over here and I zoom out just a little bit and pan over. And you can see that my flag is still not where it needs to be. So what I'm going to do again is use my move tool and I'm going to grab that corner of it. And I'm going to put it right, I want to put it right on the tip there. Let's see here. Let's check. 
Let's check my orbit here. I think looking at that orbit, I think we're in a good spot. So let's select off here. Let's see what we've got. So this is real important on this step that you're using your orbit tool so that it doesn't look like your like my flag. If I put my flag in here and I'm not orbiting around it and my flag maybe is flying off in the middle of nowhere, you definitely don't want that. So there I've got a flag put up there and I attached it the pole right to the top here. So we've got that. Um, another quick thing that you can do with this when you're when you're putting stuff in is there's like uh, so if I wanted to do now you wouldn't do two of the same thing, but I wanted to put a flag right on this this point here. I could click on this on the model that I've selected it. Then I'm going to move and I'm going to put my point right where I want it to be. So I want to put it right on this endpoint here. I hit that button. And that's going to, it'll scale it to put it close to where you want it to be. So again, you want to make sure that you are moving and orbiting stuff in. So again, if I'm looking at and I orbit this flag, one, this flag is way too big. So I got to really scale it down. And two, I got to uh, move it because it's not attached to my model. So that would definitely be something that we could do. Uh, well, let me erase this one out. I don't want that in there. You need to finish up your pirate ship, adding in uh, three custom elements, adding all of your colors. Remember, go into your paint bucket, and with your paint bucket, uh, you go into your paint bucket, you can choose the different materials uh, that you want to do. Let me close out this 3D warehouse here. Go back to my paint bucket, um, and you can search all of the different materials that you've got here will be the list of them we can get the thumbnails of everything we can search all the different we've got all kinds of materials of things that we can put into there change your different colors remember go back if you need to look at the grass the wood paneling carpet you can put shag carpet on your on your pirate ship Make it completely yours. When you are done with this, you're going to add it as an SKP file. Uh, and that SKP file will be turned in with this assignment. Good luck. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to reach out.